Hi, my name is Owen, and today I will be demonstrating how to mount and dismount curves as a powered wheelchair user. Unfortunately, we do not live in a fully accessible world, so I've had to come up with my own life hacks in order to work around the issues I have found while I'm out and about. As you can see in this video, some curbs aren't meant for wheelchairs to freely go up and down. This can lead to many problems, from having to search elsewhere for another curb that has a dip. It can be dangerous on both you and the wheelchair. Most of all, it can lead to frustration. Okay, first, I will show you how to mount and dismount a curb successfully. Then I will show you step by step how I do it. This is the easy curb that are found at most sets of traffic lights or crosswalks. However, this is not always the option we have when we are crossing the road. I will now show you how I get up and down a more difficult curb. Okay, Owen, we are in a tricky situation. Okay, both front casters are lined up and my hands are now on the back. A little bit of weight on the back, so we'll bring up the front wheels first. And I'm lifting and pushing. And lowering. Keep coming and I'll tell you when your back wheels are at the curb. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming there. Stop. And your back wheels are at the curb, so my hands are on, so you can begin to reverse. Yeah, keep reversing, 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 reversing. Your back wheels are now down, and reverse. Mid wheels now are starting to come down, all the way, reverse. And mid wheels are down, and front wheels down. And that's how it's done, so. So, how did I do it? The following are a bunch of tips and tricks that I use before mounting and dismounting a curb. Did you spot any in the videos already? First and foremost, be aware of your surroundings, as there are many things that are designed to help us. For example, if you see any traffic lights, there is a very high possibility that there will be a dip in the curb for you to cross the road. This might also include tactile paving, which is usually orange in colour, and you can recognise because it's pretty bumpy. Safety and curb mounting go hand in hand, so it is always important that you are positioned in your wheelchair smugly. Always make sure your pelvic belt is tight and your chest harness is strapped on. When you approach a curb, do not go up at speed, as it can be dangerous to both you and your wheelchair. Instead, go slow and line yourself up with the edge of the curb with your front wheels facing straight. When going up and down a curb, it is important to know where in your wheelchair the race is. If you drive a rear wheel drive, then the weight will be at the back of your chair. However, if you do not drive a rear wheel drive, then the weight will be distributed differently. Your helper will need to help find out the best way to counteract the weight and get you up and down safely. I hope that this video has been informative in helping you learn about how I mount and dismount curbs as a powered wheelchair user. Thank you for taking time to watch this video.